the general point about development, like for example, I've got an amazing stat here about the Holland must hate you. You, I can imagine you're going to get a job in the edit division <laughs> because if you look at your record against Holland, fuck me, you've tormented them. But on the subject of development, um, Tuesday, 5th of December, 2017, Scotland 2, Netherlands uh, nil. Fulton, Souter, Ralston, Taylor, McKenna, Wilson, Thomas, Morgan, Mallon, Cabin, Burke, plus subs, manager Scott Gemmell. Holland are Drummel, Van Drongelen, Jerry St. Just, Ovejan, Denzel Dumfries, Hoos Till, Pablo Rosario, Bart Ramasalar, Frankie de Jong, yeah. Stephen Bergwijn, and further down, Usama Idrissi, who spent a lot of time at Sevilla. Um, I look at that Netherlands side from 2017, you, you beat, and you've beaten that Netherlands group again, 2-1. Mm. They've got these, these players I've read out now, I've got 197 UEFA appearances, Europa League, Conference, less so, and Champions League between them. Your group has got 64 in the subsequent, what, September 2017, four years. So something really dramatic has happened in terms of your group's exposure to elite European football and the Dutch groups, and Frankie de Jong's a 90 million euro, euro, euro player. So, one, Billy Kilmore. Two, the development of Scottish young talent. Yeah, I think Billy, the one thing we did for him was give him the opportunity. I think a big thing, and I'm, I'm sure Billy has spoken about it in some interviews, we took him to the Toulon tournament uh, really ahead of schedule by most people's standards, not by his. He obviously put himself in that position where it, it was an easy decision to take him. But that was a big thing for him to go and play at that level ahead of schedule. But what he did was he, he proved, you know, he confirmed his talent at that tournament, which I think is what the player needs to do. So I think the Billy one is what we gave him was the opportunity. Obviously, in terms of the development, that, that is the club and the player without doubt and, and everything that goes into the mix there even off the pitch with his family and his agent and stuff, you know, everybody deserves credit there. But what, what we did as an association was give him that opportunity to go and confirm his talent at a higher level. And I can remember, I think I'm 90% sure that was the Toulon tournament where Frank Lampard was sitting watching the tournament. I think he was there with the English FA doing his pro licence. So you, Hopefully that opportunity at that level really helped Billy in that regard, just to really confirm his talent. He was ahead of schedule for, in terms of the, the age profile of somebody who'd have been taken to the Toulon tournament. What age gap might there have been? Would he have been yeah, I think 16? He, I think he was 16, possibly 17. Uh, and the tournament was an under-23 tournament because historically Toulon was 20. 21s. Yeah. But now, because of the worldwide... Teams from the other side of the world are preparing Olympic teams, so it's... It's uh, meant to feed into yeah. that preparation. So yeah. the, they, they expanded it to 23. So, so, so there could have been a very significant age gap between him and yeah. the majority, if not all, of his opponents. Yeah. But also, would he have shared, some, at that stage, would he have shared some of the difficulties you did about slenderness and size in, in terms yeah. of you'd advanced him, which is the, the, the great... I asked Cryfoy over the years, mm. put, if they could put them out of their, yeah. their security zone. And he, he wouldn't necessarily have been talent wise, yes, but physically? Yeah, physically, he was possibly at a disadvantage, but his speed of thought and his brain and his mentality were unquestionably ahead of, of you know, there's no comparison in that, in that regards. His, his belief and ambition to become one of the best players, if not the best player in the world, he will tell you that himself. And yeah, that's a set ambition. Yeah. Good. We, we, we don't do that as a nation. Yeah, I agree. It's that's not a particularly Scottish trait. It's not, no. We think we're born the best in the world, <laughs> but we don't actually make any effort to try and go and get there, right? No, it's, it's usually knocked out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so you are looking at what you, when you take him to too long, what are you looking for in his personality as well as how he plays? 
Yeah, you absolutely. You want to see that that he can handle it, that he doesn't get too high when he does well, which he did. And also, I don't think he played the first game. He probably, knowing Billy, would have been expecting to play the first game. Um, and also, is to give him that experience of tournament football. You know, I think I'm right in saying Billy's ref- obviously just had a successful Euros in the summer there. Yeah. And he used Toulon as a reference. You know, it's proper tournament football with an extended period. Um, of course, staying in nice hotels and everything's the best of the best. But it is still a big thing to deal with. To You know, we're talking, I think the Toulon tournament was over 20 days. And not just the group games, obviously, then going on to play... The, the the knockout phase as well, so it's real invaluable experience and playing playing against the very best, not just in Europe but players from Asia and South America as well. What dealing with boredom or finding things to do with your day when you're not training or in video sessions, uh, concentrating, uh, 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 preparing yourself mentally for the next task if you do or don't know much about your opponent group, these sort of things or what? Yeah, the off off the field things, just in that that ability to rest and then train at the correct speeds. A lot of a lot of players really struggle to you know to actually shut down and rest and then switch on. Um, and you know, maybe you're not training at the the normal time you train with your club. You and obviously then the the ability to actually play with intent and in how the team's been prepared to play you know it might and it might be different from what the player wants or what the player's used to at his club there's different objectives different details tactically within the game um, and then just just being able to really handle the whole experience uh, and also the scrutiny that comes with that for somebody like Billy